In tech, you lead or get left behind. For years, only a handful of countries, Taiwan, South Korea, the US, could make the world's most advanced chips. The idea that a company cut off from this ecosystem could leap to the cutting edge was dismissed as fantasy. Then, in late 2025, the impossible happened. Huawei, battered by years of US sanctions, reportedly produced its first 3 nanometer chip. This wasn't just an upgrade, it was a generational leap, like an athlete banned from the Olympics, returning to shatter a world record. The news sent shockwaves through Wall Street and Silicon Valley, forcing a rethink of everything the West believed about technological containment. The barriers were supposed to be absolute. Since 2019, the US had dismantled Huawei's access to the global supply chain, blocking advanced chips, design software, and the critical EUV machines needed for next-gen chips. The sanctions aimed to cripple Huawei permanently. Yet, this breakthrough was more than technical, it was geopolitical. It proved that technological denial hadn't stopped China's advance. It had created a powerful self-reliant competitor. The old narrative, that innovation only flowed west to east, was shattered overnight. A new paradigm was dawning. The tech arms race now had a formidable new contender, thriving not despite adversity, but because of it. The world built a wall to keep Huawei out. Huawei built its own ladder. The game had changed. To grasp Huawei's feet, consider the scale. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter. A three nanometer chip packs billions of transistors, tiny switches, into a space smaller than a human hair. Smaller transistors mean more power and efficiency. For smartphones, that's longer, battery life, and advanced AI. For supercomputers, it's a leap in processing power. The three nanometer node isn't just a step, it's a gateway to a new era of computing. Making these chips requires mind-boggling precision. The process, lithography, uses light to etch microscopic patterns onto silicon. For 3 nanometer chips, you need extreme ultraviolet, EUV light, so hard to generate that only a handful of machines worldwide can do it. At this scale, quantum effects threaten to disrupt the chip's operation, forcing a complete redesign of the transistor. Enter gate all around GAA architecture. Mastering 3 nanometer production demands not just the world's most advanced machines, but new materials and physics. It's the pinnacle of modern manufacturing. Few believed Huawei could get here, but they did, and the world took notice. The EUV lithography scanner is the crown jewel of chip making, built only by ASML in the Netherlands. Each machine costs over $150 million and weighs 180 tons. It fires lasers at molten tin to create EUV light, etching impossibly fine patterns onto silicon. The US used its influence to block ASML from selling these machines to China, believing this would halt Chinese progress at the 7 nanometer barrier. The world doubted China could build its own EUV machine. Experts said it would take a decade or more. So, Huawei and Semic pushed older Dovey machines to their limits, using complex multi-patterning to make 7 and 5 nanometer chips. Yields were low, costs high, but it kept their engineers in the game. Meanwhile, China poured billions into a secretive national EUV project, a moonshot to break the Western monopoly. The world watched, skeptical. But step by step, Huawei built the foundation for its 3 nanometer surprise. The impossible machine was no longer out of reach. A now was it some. US sanctions in 2019 were meant to end Huawei. Cut off from Google, TSMC and American components, Huawei's revenue and market share collapsed. But inside Huawei, a spirit of resilience took hold. Founder Ren Zhengfei invoked the long march mentality. Survive, adapt, and rebuild. Huawei pivoted from consumer tech to cloud, enterprise and automotive, pouring resources into R&D and building a domestic supply chain from scratch. In 2023, Huawei shocked the world with the Mate 60 Pro, powered by a 7 nanometer chip made in China by SMIC. US officials were stunned, the blockade wasn't impenetrable. The Mate 60 Pro became a symbol of national pride and defiance, selling out instantly. This was just the beginning. Huawei and its partners developed their own chip design software, new materials, and most secretly, their own lithography machine. Each small victory, 7 nanometer chips, then 5, was a step toward independence. 
They weren't just surviving, they were rebuilding, methodically, for a return to the top. The world saw a company reborn. The long march was working. Huawei was preparing to soar again. The West's tech blockade had forged a new rival. And the race was back on. Huawei's 3 nanometer chip isn't just a comeback, it's a seismic shift, ending the era of globalized tech. The world is splitting into two rival tech ecosystems, one led by the US, the other by China. Standards, supply chains, and even operating systems are diverging. Companies and countries must now choose sides navigating new technical and political realities. For China this is technological sovereignty, no longer dependent on foreign tech, but a creator in its own right. With a full domestic stack, China can export its technology to allies, reshaping global markets. For the rest of the world, the rise of a second tech block means new choices and new dilemmas. The era of a single unified global tech market is over. In its place, a fractured fiercely competitive world. The great tech schism has begun. News of Huawei's breakthrough sent shockwaves through global markets, semiconductor giants, even ASML, saw their stock prices tremble. The old certainties were gone, the monopoly on cutting-edge chip-making had been broken, Western governments and tech firms faced a wake-up call. Export controls and sanctions can backfire, fueling rivals' determination. The US, in trying to kneecap Huawei, created a motivated, well-funded competitor. Now, the tech race is truly global. The US and allies must accelerate their own innovation to stay ahead. China, powered by its own advanced chips, is now a formidable force in AI, quantum computing, EVs, and telecoms. The balance of power is shifting. Intense rivalry could drive prices down and speed up innovation, but also create fragmentation. Businesses may need to make two versions of every product, one for each tech block. The seamless global connectivity we knew is under threat. Huawei's chip has changed the rules for everyone. A 3 nanometer chip in the lab is one thing, mass production is another. Huawei's next challenge is scaling up, making millions of flawless chips, month after month. If they succeed, Huawei could reclaim lost market share and challenge Apple and Samsung globally. Advanced domestic chips would supercharge China's ambitions in AI, supercomputing, and autonomous driving, ending reliance on foreign tech. The US and its allies now face a choice. Double down on sanctions or out-innovate the competition. Huawei's journey proves that containment is a leaky vessel. The future of tech leadership will be decided by speed, not walls. The era of Western tech supremacy is over. A new, more competitive age has begun.